Grace Kitchens presents Creative Cooking. In this series, Creative Cooking puts a new spin on how you can use traditional Jamaican foods to make interesting meals. Stay tuned now for your host, Maisie Miller. It is indeed a pleasure for us to have you joining us today on Creative Cooking. My special guest is Chef Andre Josephs. Tell us your course of study, Andre. Well, I'm on my last year doing a course, a uh, degree in culinary chef management at the Western Hospitality Institute. Where Dr. Cecil Cornwell serves as the president. Yes. We have asked you to take some traditional Jamaican foods. What have you come up with? I have come up with a uh, tropical chicken breast. Let me see all the sour sap over there. So hold yes, on. the sour sap is going to be made in a puree. Before I begin, I'm just going to use the cellophane wrap just to make a little shield. The reason for flattening the chicken breasts is to make them more easier to handle and more wrappable. Okay. Then we pound, we pound away. And you want to be careful not to pound too hard. Place the chicken breasts in. Discard off that. Then I'll just give this a quick wash. So we're going to be using onions, at least four teaspoons of onions. And then we're going to be having scallions. A little bit of garlic, just a little tip. And then we'll have some salt. And you want to be careful in adding the salt. Adding the salt. Because you don't want too much. It's grey scotch bonnet. Oh, I thought you were just going to say scotch bonnet. You know, I'm saying it's grey scotch the gray, bonnet. The yeah. grey scotch bonnet. Right. And we're just going to Thank use you. this mm -hmm. in, re, in substitution for the scotch bonnet. Yes. And of course, you have a little black pepper. Yes. And we just want to gently massage it because you don't want it to rip apart yes. or mm -hmm. be torn. Mm -hmm. Yes. So once we have reached this stage, we'll just let it sit right here and marinate just for a couple of minutes. And right here we have our sauce up and we'll use a little bit of the white wine yes. just to give it that... About a quarter cup, eh? Just a little bit, yeah. about a quarter cup, to give it that moisture so it blends. The white wine, it gives it a very nice flavor as white wines bring the flavors out in most, if not all, ingredients. Mm -hmm. And it's ready. looking very lovely right here. Pour right back in here. And I'll be taking off all the excessive amounts of chopped seasoning. Yes. Then here's our mango and pineapple that has been marinated in white wine and fresh herbs. Mm -hmm. Fold it like this. Just want to give it a nice little fold, a tight little fold, as in like a sushi style. Yes. And then we just roll, continue to roll. Yes. Then we close. And then we'll have our toothpicks, which is our closing agents for the day. Okay. And then we want to seal the edge. And then repeat the process of stuffing from the sides and please do not throw it in the pot you take it up and you put right down yes. and you put right down just a little burn it will cool off okay. if you move the chicken breast or turn it yes. because if you leave it on one side for too long burning it will burn or it will cook, stick to right? the pot and we can't afford that right here we have some beets that has been julienned fine. So, and we add the apple cider vinegar now to give it a tangy flavor. And we don't want to add too much. And we want to turn our chicken breast. And if you can see, they're already becoming very pretty. Mm -hmm. The colors have been changed to a nice, welcoming golden brown. And then we come back to our smash. We have, today we have Irish potato and we have carrots. Okay. We mash. And once it has been mashed, but not completely mashed, you will add some butter. Okay. Can I add the cinnamon powder and the nutmeg now? Just one teaspoon will do. Okay. One 
like one teaspoon cinnamon powder and we'll sprinkle that all over. Okay. Yes. And we just want to turn our chicken breast once more on the last side. Two spoons. Okay, let's see. One. Two, yes. This Thank contributes you. Contributes flavor and some contributes moisture. Contributes flavor, moisture. It also, texture. It, yes, it also helps to create a very nice texture. And if you look, you will see it becoming more smooth. Manageable. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if I had added the butter upon starting the mashing process, okay. it would not have reached this level where it can be mashed properly. Yeah. And this has been mashed and replaced that right here. And then the oven, which was preheated to 350 degrees, mm -hmm. we're just going to finish in the oven yes. so the middle can be properly cooked. Okay. And I'll just pour my white wine. And that is natural. That is natural. Deglazes the pan, eh? Deglazes the pan. Yeah. Uh -huh. We're adding the sauce of puree. Okay. And you want to give this a stir. Mm -hmm. And you'll see some of the residues swimming about and you'll be wondering how will that taste with all these residues. Not a problem, it will be strained. Right, okay. It will be strained. Then you just go at the edge, you scrape, scrape, and you do it until it has three to four sides. Ah. Uh. Yes. Would you? you can pour it in, and while you pour it, you will stir with the wooden spoon. Okay. okay. We're going to remove the chicken breast from the oven. Hold firmly the chicken breast. Hold firmly, then we slice. And this will go right here. Mm -hmm. We want to use this oil right here to fry our breadfruits and they have been sliced thinly on a mandolin. And we want to just gentle fry them. And right here we have our source of puree. Mm -hmm. We're going to be using this to create just a small design. Now we have our beets that have been marinated in some dark sugar mm. and the apple cider vinegar and we just do that right there. So we're going to use this little breadfruit right here and we'll use two. To help create that height. To create that height. Okay. If you want for added color scheme, the marinated mango and pineapple, they can be used as garnishes as well. Okay. Right here. And a little bit right here. Mm -hmm. We don't want to overpower the dish with just the marinated mango and pineapple. And dinner is ready to be served, eh? And dinner is ready to be served. We want to thank you for sharing with us. And, yes. and, and we want to wish for you all the best. When you pass the exam, we know you'll do very well in the exam, right? And we want to wish for you all the best in the future. Thanks, it was good working with you, Thank chef. you. Traditional Jamaican foods, new ways to prepare them, something different for you to try out and enjoy at home. Hope you enjoyed today's creative cooking and that you'll join us again next Monday morning at 7.35 with a repeat on Sundays at 2.20 p.m. here on TVJ. That's creative cooking. Don't miss it.